Uh, what's going on, fam? All of our supporters, everybody that's here with us, that's been here with us, what's going on? I want y'all to notice the difference in the viewers tonight than the regular viewers. You might realize there's a little more people in the room tonight. Why? Why? Because the sense of something negative almost happened, right? And so we got a lot of extra entities in the building today. But guess what? We're not allowing them to talk in the room. They can watch, but they can't talk. They can't interact with us. They don't have that privilege, right? So the room is on shutdown. If you say something in the room, at all, you're going to be blocked and deleted from the chat if you don't have by nature on your name. Don't speak in the room without by nature on your name or you're going to be blocked. It's called the shutdown. Welcome to my page. This is how we do it on this end. The reason why we do this is to protect the subconscious mind. When people type stuff, consciously you see it and you think that they're talking to someone else, but subconsciously, you're saying it to yourself. So we choose to send out only positivity on this page. Did you watch the movie Grounded? Awesome. I hope that helped you. So, moving forward. All right, baby girl, all right. She want that nanny, that nanny. There you go, there you go. She getting the nanny. I'm not unblocking anybody until they got by nature on their name. Okay, so I'm going to be periodically blocking people as they talk in a room that don't have nature on their name. Getting back to the, the juice. Moving forward. So, we had an incident here where there was a little bit of disrespect from True. Um, I thought that True was giving Eliana some, some rhythm, and I was like, what you doing that for, you know? And I was just feeling that she was liking that attention. And so I was like trying to address that. And then Eliana got very upset. When she got upset, she said, I don't want nobody else. I don't want him. I was like, just relax. Calm down. Just talk. You ain't got to get her. You know, it was a trigger for her to trigger her anger. She felt like I accused her of something that she didn't do. She got upset and flares the fuck off and cuts her fuck, long story short, she cuts her fucking hair off. Let's just leave it at that. And so as she calms down, we back at the same square one. What's going on? What was that? You thought that was gonna come out as eerie, huh? <laughs> you thought that was gonna come out as eerie. So, with that being stated, it's not about if True would do that or if Eliana would do that. It was more of a catalyst to show Eliana something about herself today that she's. In a moment, she'd get upset and just flare the fuck off and not 
be able to deal with her emotions in a moment. Um, and that we can't do that anymore. We cannot do anymore. So I'm going to let her talk for herself. And um, come on, come close. Over here. So here it is. And I'm blocking people that don't have by nature on their name. FYI. You're going to have to speak up because the fans are on. So, um, I was explaining earlier. What happened? In your, so, in your so, words, what happened? Okay, so it all started yesterday. And um, I was not paying attention to detail. I felt like I wasn't paying too much of detail, more so than just... Um, running the family and making sure that everything gets done the way that it needs to be. And um, prior to, cause I had called True in here to, to grab a pen for me for the iPad out my tent. And the reason why I had called him in my opinion was because Pice had been doing everything for me that day. And I always tell Pice, I say, Pice, delegate somebody to do this. And he never does. And he just always goes off and do it. And I'm like, okay. So I took it up for, to myself to just call somebody else that was available to do what I need to be done the fastest and the most efficient way than, than what I wanted to be done. Because Price was in, in the uh, kitchen washing dishes. And so prior to that, prior to me calling him for the pen, True had, you know, had an um, incident where he was doing something that he shouldn't have supposed to. And Chief addressed him about it. And because I called him for the pen, it could have led to um, him taking the energy the wrong way prior to him having the disposition that he had with the women prior earlier that day. This was, you know, this was all the women involved. It wasn't just me. It was the energy behind him and what's his motive and what's his intent or what's on his mind. And so um, I was just, just doing it, just con unconsciously just asking and just delegating. I called him to get the pen and then Chief comes up to me, he's like, why would you call me to get the pen? I'm like, I don't know, I just want to know, I just want to get done what I need to get done as fast as possible, and I knew that he would hurry up and go do it, like, because he doesn't waste time. And so he was like, but you know that he just did this, and I was like, I could see that. And so later that night, it's still kind of, well, well, we had a meeting about it, we pulled it out to a meeting, and in the meet, I didn't know that Chief had went to him after the meeting and had a talk with him, like one-on-one. -on -one. I didn't know that. So I thought that maybe it was still unresolved, that energy was unresolved. But before I figured out or knew that Chief had a conversation with him, I was trying to talk to Chief to get him to understand, like, I wasn't thinking like that. I'm trying to, like, look at it from all aspects and just be open because I know before times, by my Mars being in the 12th house, um, I could have fantasies about other men. I could, you know, daydream about it. And this has been a pattern for me earlier in our relationship. And because I wasn't secure within myself, I didn't have enough self-confidence to understand and see what was in front of me. Like, Chief is my husband. I shouldn't even do that. Like, you know, because if I had self-esteem and I, had, I wasn't insecure in certain areas of my life, then I wouldn't even be able to do that. And I'm just being real. And so... Um, that has been a pattern a couple times in our relationship and I like now in my life I'm like so I don't I don't want that to ever happen again that it, it's a very easy trigger for me for him to say like oh this guy or try to you know like play the energy and I'm like it frustrates me because I don't like when he's I don't like when chief is angry at me I don't like when it it, it, it just does something to me that just like it just make me just be like, fuck the world, like, it just make me feel like that, which I shouldn't go to that extent, but I just really feel some type of way, like, he just trigger all of my emotions, like, he trigger everything inside of me when he's testing me or when something is happening, and so... So, let me ask you this. When you trigger emotions in me, as you do all the time, ain't I patient with you? Yeah, I... The, so, I mean, the world has seen how patient I've been with you, so why wouldn't you take the time 
and not display that anger toward me. Why you don't just give me the same thing I give you? I give you patience. I sit down and have a real nigga moment. We talk about it. We get through the issue. If there's a misunderstanding, we talk through it. Since when do you have the right to just because you're frustrated and you get emotional that you go over the edge and say, fuck it, I'm just going to wild the fuck out. How is that loving me? If I'm insecure in our relationship at all, right? I deserve the same treatment throughout the whole damn year and a half we've been together. You've been insecure the whole time. And every time you've been insecure, I have went and bent backwards to make sure that you were secure. I've pushed you, motivated you, even when the whole world was like, fuck her, chief. I said, no, I believe in you. In one moment, as this, just one moment, all it took was for one moment and you spit, you just flipped the fuck out. Like, yo, where's the love? So when I say that, I say this. Where the love? You see what I'm saying? Because the whole world has watched me be super patient with you and your insecurities. Now, I'm not an insecure person, not at all. But if I feel insecure in my relationship, I would like to bring that to the table and talk about it. Because that's who I am. I'm a communicator. Mercury seventh house. So with that being stated, I'm having a real nigga moment and you flare the fuck off. As if I deserve that little bit of patience from you after the world has seen and not only is my reflection before the world could ever seen it, for the, for the time, the whole time we've been together, I've been nothing but patient with you when you've been insecure about polygamy. I sat and explained it. I turned the camera on. I sat you on my lap and said, baby, I would never do that to you. I love you. I sat there and reassured you in front of everybody. And this is one little moment. Well, I had the indication that I was insecure about our relationship and what was going on. Did I not deserve the same patience and love from you? Yes, you So why, the, why, why then do you say, yo, and this goes back to people can only love you as much as they love themselves. See, me, I love myself. I think I deserve all of the patience, love, and I give that to my people. I give that to others because that's who I am. I extend that to other people because I give it to myself. I'm very patient with myself. When I fail, I get up and keep going and I tell myself, it's okay, you can make it, you can go, keep going. And so I extend that to my lover. I don't give up easy. That's not in me. And I've displayed that in front of the world. In every episode that you have, in every real nigga moment, it was like you falling apart. I picked you up. So, the one time that I'm insecure in our relationship, which doesn't happen often, I just, do I, this something so little, something so petty, you flare the fuck off as if I do this all the time. You act like I'm doing this to you all the time. I never do this. I felt something and I just brought it up. Like, what's up, y'all? Y'all feeling each other? Like, what's going on? I want to know. Because we have a rule here in Carbonation. If your girl is feeling, if you got a notion that somebody else is feeling somebody, what do we do? Call a meeting. Sound off again. Call a meeting. We call a meeting. We don't play secret and play little games with each other's wives and husbands. We don't play the little eye and body language. We don't play a little flirtation. We don't do that here because that creates confusion. So anytime we have the notion of something going on, we communicate because I never wanted to be with somebody else's girl. I don't want you to be with my girl. And so most of the time doing real nigga moments is what? 
It's either me letting the wife go or me receiving or me receiving the wife, which is the which is the case right now, right? Ra is now going to Solar, which is the case now. Ra is going to Solar. That's how I that's how I do it. Ra ain't got to flirt with Solar on a daily basis. If Ra feels something between her and Solar, well, take your ass over to Solar. Don't play. Don't say you want to be here and play games because that creates confusion and we ain't got time for that. I like an organized environment, a very clean environment. And just and justice and righteousness. Let's be righteous. Let's be do the right thing. You feel me? I ain't got no hard feelings. I I could get a woman. That's okay. There's plenty of women that want me. I'm okay. Now if you want to be over there, be over there. Don't play games. Don't, don't play games. I feel it. Now, if I'm insecure, then you should have brought it up in the meeting. Just say, hey, look, that ain't what's going on, blah, blah, blah. Baby, I would never do that to you. I love you. As I've done to you, publicly. When you've been insecure, and I said, Eliana, come here. What's going on? Everybody could see Eliana was jealous. What did I do? I reassured Eliana. No one come before Eliana. I reassured you, even though that got on my nerves. I was very frustrated in those moments. I did not flare off and go cut my fucking hair off or have a fucking temper tantrum. You can not do that. Now you represent a lot of black women out there. This behavior is the common black woman behavior. I hate you so much right now. Angry black woman, we know about it. Like a firecracker, ready to set it off. So many women out there are, this is what happens. Once they get upset, they go from zero to fucking cuckoo. Real quick. And I'm still not giving up on you. I'm not going to be with you no more. Me and you are no longer directs after this. You are my student right now. You are, we and you are not together anymore. You are my student. After this episode, no. Because I deserve better than this and you deserve better than what you've given yourself. If you can't see your blessing. So you can stay here and you can be my student, but me and you are not lovers anymore. You are not my direct and you are not my chiefest anymore from this day forth. That's, that's fine. But I'm not going to give up on you because I love you. And you represent the black woman out there. See, each one of us has spirits in us that represent somebody out there watching. There's a woman out there that have done the same shit you just did right there. Cut their fucking hair off in the moment, in an emotional moment. You raise your hand. Another real nigga moment that happened that with y'all. We need to talk about that. Right? We need to talk about that. Now that's a real nigga moment too. There's a lot of people that don't know about what happened between Joy and Goddamn New the other day. They don't know about that. But they need to know it ain't all fucking peaches and cream with all of y'all. Everybody got their shit. It's hey man, I feel the same shit everybody else feel. I'm not allowed to respond the same way. Because we supposed to be leveling up and expanding the black mind. We're not allowed to lash out and do irrational things in our anger. We're not. No matter as bad as we want to do it. We might as well go back to Babylon, eat fucking Burger King, smoke cigarettes, and drink out. If you're going to be Babylon, be Babylon. If you're going to be dedicated to this path, be dedicated to the path. You're doing it for the people. But the race is not given to the swift nor the strong. You might think you're stronger than Eliana. You might think that you're smarter than Eliana. You might think that you're faster than Eliana. But the race is not given to the swift nor the strong, but those that endure to the what? The end. The end. My life doesn't belong to me. It belongs to you. That's why I give it to you. It belongs to you. point blank period
So I'm going to let you finish speaking for yourself and just talk to the people about how you feel about what you did and, and how you feel after. I just remember when I had a moment like this before, when I was in Babylon, and what I remember in that situation was it, through the universe, through the person, the universe was, you know, is, as the person, and the person hit me up and threw me in the car like I was a psycho, like I was a maniac, and uh, strapped me in without my consent, like just put me in the car, strapped me in, and told me that they was going to take me to the crazy house because that's what Your I Babylon father. Like. Yeah. Yeah, he did that to me. And um, he felt like he was going to ride to the to the crazy house. And I remember I calmed down because of that. Because um, I had watched my Babylon grandma go through going to the psychiatric ward. And I remember how the people was in there. And I didn't want to. I, that's a place that I didn't want to be. So I had calmed down from that. And then it was all over. But eventually, as time went on, because I was just so angry, I wound up just running away from the situation. And that led me here. And now that I'm here, I'm continuing that same behavior as if it's helping me and it's not. It's actually, I'm using it against myself and self-sabotaging it against myself. Now, as far as like, go, like just going ham and just cutting my hair off, like I literally was just in that mode. Like, I had no control. And it doesn't make me feel good that I didn't have control because now I have to live with the results of what I did when I di didn't have control. In a control moment. And in a fucking moment, man. Self-control. And so... Which I've seen upstairs. I'm, I'm just... When, what you've seen upstairs, fellas... I, nobody can hear your little light ass, nigga. Like, <laughs> nobody can hear your light voice, bro. Nobody can hear you. What you've seen upstairs, what did it make you feel like? Y'all gotta come up because it's kind of dark. Come up a little closer. What did y'all, when y'all was looking at your chief this, while, at the time, wilding out like that, what was y'all thinking? I was like, what the fuck happened? Because I was there. No, y'all, your face was the shit. You was looking like, was bro, you was looking like. It was a lot of anger. It was like, yo. A lot of energy. A lot of energy at that point in time. Misunderstanding just came out of that one person at that point in time. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't I had no idea I had no idea like, the limitation, like where it was gonna stop because it just it started like we we started hiding all anything like because it, I didn't know like how how much worse this could have went. It was, I'm not used to seeing uh, well actually I'll take that back. I have seen people hurt themselves, but that was like uh, I was nervous. I was I was like, I was, like, there, like, trying to protect her. Yeah, we was just trying to restrain yeah, her down, like, make, yeah. Right. But I, I was thinking, like, yo, how could something so light just got, it's like the, the straw that broke the camel's back. What I want to ask you is, what, what happened to lead up to that much anger? Like, you act like, shit, I've been doing this every single day to you. I don't do this to, I never, I hardly ever do that to you. But I just want to understand, like, is that all it took for you to say fuck everything, like, fuck life? Like, you was wowing, like, like, wowing, like, to say just, like, fuck it. And what's going to stop this from happening again? That's the scary part. The scary part is this ever happening again. I just think that sometimes in the, in the moments where it's really important, like like today, like today we, we was upstairs and we was talking and stuff and, you was, and we was talking about hanging out and stuff. 
and you was like, I really like when I'm hanging out with you when you're not tripping because I feel like you focus on things that shouldn't be focused on and then you counteracted it with, well, then I realized that the things that you do think about I should be focused on because it was a valid point as your feminine energy to bring stuff to the surface and sometimes I just think that you don't listen to me 100% so I just feel just like completely shut off to you in moments where I have like I have information and I try to come and tell you and then it's like 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 this morning that incident that happened this morning where I proceeded right and so large this morning not not actually them but this situation and I came to talk well, to you about it. What I said is like, let's hold a meeting. And that's what we did. No, and no. Well, well, the that's meeting, what... the meeting happened naturally, and but you always have this disposition where you're like, I don't know, for some reason, I just felt like you, like you were saying key things in the in, in that time that we was talking that made me feel bad about myself, like. Like you was like you just why you just want to throw her away like stuff like that and I'm like I don't want to throw her away with it I'm like wait 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 that's not what I'm saying I'm just saying that I feel that something is off and, and sometimes what did I, I say? just feel like you no 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 here's what I do I like let me tell you something about me and you need to know what I'm a positive ass thinking person it's a lot of negative shit that's getting thrown at me 24 goddamn seven in my position it's not no, no it's just it's just everything that come to me I try to be optimistic about it so you're gonna feel me turn a negative situation into a positive situation. So I, you'll come to me like, I don't feel, i like, well, why didn't you just talk to her? That's what you'll get from me. you like, well, I said, why don't you just have a meeting and tell her how you really feel? Stop in that moment. Don't no, let it you, linger. You, you, no, you don't have that. You say, well, why you didn't have a meeting? That's not how it's No, 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 I did not. I, 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 just, I just scream at you like that. Stop, stop lying on me. Don't, don't do that. Don't you, do that. You did. No, 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 no. You this say, morning you we was in the back. Every I, I, day. You say you no, do this all my the voice time. Is like you this. like this. Like, first of all, I'm from New York. Like, calm down. Like, when I talk, I, I be talking like I project myself. Like you know what I mean? Like, don't make it seem like I was screaming on you, my nigga. Like you making it seem like I was like, I, you yo, know, no, what are you screaming, talking about? No, was I like saying, that? No, I'm not saying like screaming on me. I'm just saying that every time I have one of those moments I'm because always, you taught me to address situations when I have facts, and when I don't have all of the pieces, I come to you as no, you get the fact. I say this every time, don't I? Don't I say? This? I say this every time. You get I, the facts by how? By talking about it. You never get the facts until you hold the meeting with her. You're gonna be confused about the situation until you hold the meeting with her. So I don't really want to talk to you about how you feel about somebody else. I want you to be like, yo, babe, we need to hold the meeting because I want to know the solution rather than your problems. So tell me the solution. I'm the type of person like this. I don't even like to talk to people unless they're talking about solutions. I don't want to talk about your problems. I want to talk about the solutions. Let's talk about the solutions. You know what to do in these situations that I told you over and over. And sometimes I'm frustrated because I repeat myself over and over and you perpetuate the same behavior over and over. Excuse me if I'm a little frustrated by the 50th time and my voice is a little, got a frustration in it because you keep doing the same thing over and over. The same behavior over and over will make somebody frustrated after a while. I just feel like, I so, just think that, I just think that like, even even if I would have put sometimes the reason why I don't go straight forward into and address the situation because like what happened in the beginning of the relationship when I had said a couple things about Mama Rock and kind of technically it, it is what it is like it that that is the behavior but I, it was like you can't think like that like you can't always look at stuff like that you can't you can't do that and I'm like trying to piece it together. And of course, that is going to be pieced together through me talking to her. Like, I, I understand that. That's all but it is. But then sometimes I don't know how to... No, you're trying to do something within your own mind, assuming things. And we, this goes back to the original, the original uh, meeting about Ra. Remember, you, Ra said she didn't want to go live with you. And I said, you said, okay, well, that's the universe. And, you, and in your mind, you took it and made something else up in your own mind. Instead of going to Rob and being like, why did you say that? You just took it and assumed that this is what the universe said. And this is what you do. And so when you bring it to me over and over with the same thing that I just talked to you about on live. And you do the same thing to me. You come to me again and say, I don't know what's going on with Rob. And I'm like, what do you mean? Did you talk to her? You're like, no. I'm like, well, you're never going to know what's going on with Rob until you talk to her. Your, your answers are in your, in your communication. And you keep and you and look. I'm a little frustrated because I'm thinking about things that are 
my mind is always on things that are manifesting my reality and things that are always positive and there's a lot of negative negativity thrown my way all the time yeah but and you don't have to spend all day with that person and feel the energy all day and just be around and neither all do you day. because if you feel the energy what are you supposed to do communicate yeah. sound off communicate communicate call a meeting that's what we always say Eliana, you're perpetuating your own problem. If you have a problem with somebody, what do we do? Communicate. We communicate. You, you're you saying, you're not the one that's around her all day. I'm like, yo, Eliana, call a fucking meeting. Resolve the issue. We can sit around and complain about it, or you can resolve it. I want to know the solutions. Don't come to me with problems. I got enough problems I'm dealing with. So you're supposed to be coming to me like, hey, babe, I'm ready to do this. All right, cool. Let's, let's handle that. Let's have a real nigga moment. Let's do it. But if you keep doing the same thing over and over, bruh, it's going to frustrate me. And I'm not screaming at you. I'm what just saying, a- this morning, this morning when you came to me, this AM, the rising when you came to me, when I wake up, the first thing on my mind is how blessed I am. Looking at all the beautiful faces, my mind is in a mode of, look at all this food I have. Look at where I'm at and where I came from. My mind goes to me being in a jail cell and doing 23 hour lockdown and looking at where I'm at. I got so much, I'm counting my blessings. When I, when I come to my wife, my wife is saying she has a problem that she can't solve. And I'm saying, what do you mean you have a problem with you can't? Did you, did you go to talk to her? No, I didn't. And that frustrates me a little bit because me and you know what to do already over the years. And you act like as if we didn't talk about this. I'm sorry if I'm a little frustrated. You know, I feel a little frustrated in that moment. Well, I, I know that, I know why the problem keep it, not what, now that I'm thinking about the, because we talked about this earlier and it, it just brought me back to that moment when we were talking earlier. I understand what makes me perpetuate the that problem, and it's because with with the with the with my Mars being, I have Mercury in the fourth house, so I'm like, oh my gosh, confrontation, oh my gosh, like I don't want confrontation. And then when the Mars is in my Mars is in Libra in the twelfth house, it really makes me don't want to go forward, like push through, and like. It, it makes me not want to do it. And so sometimes, or most of the times, all of the times, because I have that debilitation, I come to you like, babe, I don't know what to do. But then I understand that you have told me over and over and over, and I have experience. Yes, and um, yes. Um, and, and if I give you the answer uh, 20 times, right, in one year, if I give you the answer 20 times, the 23rd time you come to me with the same behavior, Yo, yeah, so like, I'm excuse me if I'm a little frustrated because my mind is counting count my blessings. My mind is on things of growth and beauty and manifesting my reality in the moment. I want to be positive and I have solutions. I don't have problems. We have what? Solutions. We ain't got problems. We have what? Solutions. Because I'm so smart and so wise that when problems come my way, I'm responding and head on, I'm, I'm doing my problems. And I need you to do the same thing after I told you 20 times how to deal with the problem. I need you to know how to do it. So I'm a little frustrated when you come to me. And the first thing in the morning is, I don't, I don't, I ain't fucking with son, up with Ra. I'm like, okay, did you talk to her? No, I mean, well, of course there's gonna be something wrong in your mind. You know how your mind works. Look, babe, I, I, I'm, I'm busy. At this point, I'm busy. I, I don't got time for this. You know what to do. Call a meeting. Call me in a meeting. I'm there. I don't want to. I don't want to. I'm focused on other things. You know, and I don't want to make you feel like I'm ignoring you. But after 20 times, I'm telling you, I did it live with Ra, right? And I told you how we to communicate. We have. We don't yeah, have problems. I, I understand. It's, it, it just brings me back to when I did the download intent. Like it's easier said than done because. When you have a debilitation, you literally have to like be conscious of yourself. Yes, baby, and that's and why. Have that's why when somebody has a debilitation, that means that they're disabled to do something readily as I am, and that's why I've been so patient with you because I've realized you have a debilitation. But I can't let that overcome me, and then what I realized is all that frustration was I was frustrated with myself. Like I'm, fr- I'm frustrated with myself. Like I keep failing. I keep doing this. I keep, and it's just like. Feel like it's just going down and down and down, but I know I'm doing it to myself, and I can come out of those moments. 
by just being confident in myself and I, I don't want to bring this back to the situation that happened with you because after I jumped off the waterfall and like all of the stuff that you used to tell it's making me emotional right now because I've seen how much you love me I like you gave me so much like and it's taking all this time for me to actually produce something from it and it, it hurts me to think about my actions and what I did to you because you don't deserve that like you deserve somebody to give you that tenfold like immediately and I do feel bad for my actions I do feel bad for keep doing the same thing over and over but after I jumped off that waterfall all of the everything that you told me everything that you put in me it just started rushing in when we was on the bike and we was going on the bike ride I just was thinking about everything I'm like wow like this man is everything to me like I cannot not see this before and I started thinking about the patterns of our relationships and how I was acting and I was like damn so and here in the family I start that boosting me like all of that that you was giving me before it actually was useful to me because I allowed myself to have it after the, the breakthrough with the waterfall because I was very afraid and my, my fears came from all of the fears that I used to have just like losing you being polygamous or doing you know just growing sometimes I'm afraid of growing because I don't know the outcome or I don't know what's gonna happen or something like that I just sometimes I feel afraid and um, it was very symbolic to the jump off of the waterfall see it's okay to be scared it's okay to be afraid but we still push yeah. and you have a family pushing you just like we pushed you at the waterfall mm -hmm. to do what you, you what you were born to do and that's fly you keep you are a butterfly crawling. You don't want to be a butterfly crawling, thinking that, thinking that you're still a caterpillar. You have a family and people around you pushing you and showing you that you can do it and encourage you at all times to communicate your emotions. You're surrounded by love, but you don't get to have a hissy fit when you get upset. You don't, we're not going to uh, reward. reward that kind of behavior. I understand that. You don't get to have those hissy fits. Absolutely not. No, not, you know, yesterday I took you on a bike ride, like you said, up the mountain, around. I wanted to show you I love you and how much I love you. I took you around, took you up on the mountain. You know how we do. We was all alone and you was holding me tight and we ride on the bike and, and you said in a moment you love me. I said, I love you too. But love don't mean shit when I need it. Yeah. When you upset your love go out the window? I, I don't deserve that. That kind of love. Soon as you get upset, your love go out a damn window. That's not love. That's lust. Do you know what lust is? It's a strong desire for something. It's just a feeling of strong desire for something. Love don't give up. Love is patient. It's kind. When you love something, you don't give up on it. Unless, you know, it doesn't serve you anymore. And don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. Because sometimes we could be loyal to things that we have, we have outgrown. We have outgrown. And like I said, after today, it's like, yeah, man. Like, me and you, we need a break. Because I, I, I deserve better than what you're giving me. You know what I'm saying? And so, like I said, like you don't have to leave here. We're gonna. You still have your family, you have your support. Me and you longer. Me and you are no longer an item, at all. You don't get to disrespect me. You cut your hair. You disrespecting my rules of my house. You don't get to do what you want when you get upset. And so, with that being sta stated, you are now my student like everybody else here. And you were on trial, like every other woman was being on trial. Point blank period. And that's just the consequence of your actions in a moment. Dude, am I gonna stop loving you? Absolutely not. I'm gonna love you from a distance. <laughs> Shit. I, I can't, I can't, I can't be putting myself through this shit. I can't. So, with that being stated, we're going to get into the rest of the original real nigga moment. Um, in the, in the, in the whole thing. Um, 
You want to come up? Thanks. Originally, this was the real nigga moment for you guys. I'm going to open up the comment section. I'm blocking negativity. You okay? You upset, Eliana? Okay. I'm going to open up the uh, comment section. We want to remain positive with everything that we're doing and everything that we're saying. Send out positivity, whatever you're doing. If you're not sending out positivity, you're sending out negativity, you're going to get negativity back in life. We got to mature, man. We got to become greater in what we're doing, man. Right now, this. So, stay positive, guys, in the room. What y'all think about this? So, we talked today, and Ra, you said you stated some things. Excuse me, I'm watching your toes. Um, you stated some things that you need that relationship, and that you know you had felt some things for Solar in a moment in the studio. And that you would like to move forward and engage in those emotions. And you said also that you was having problems with Eliana as well. And that um, you just needed that bonding with someone, that emotional bonding to go to learn through. You know, so you want to speak your heart. I feel like I need that one-on-one -on -one because I see that when I was with Chief and Nana and with the other wives, my energy wasn't flowing as how it was flowing in the studio when I was with um, mm -hmm. Solar. And yeah, I think that it's bro, just stop being a stream, me. bro. Stop being a stream. Stop being a stream, bro. Stop being a stream. Go ahead. In this moment, I was just thinking about me, like how I could grow, how I could let my energy, uh, my energy flow better because it wasn't doing anything good for me when I was in the relationship with Chief and Nana. I was being my dreamy self. And I need to be more energetic as I can be. Because I, I can be extra again. So And we 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 wanna apologize for ruining your moment. This was a happy moment. It really was. It was a moment that was supposed to be surprising and then this happened. So the universe happened the way it happened. Right. Let us take the lessons out of everything that happened today and understand through it. Right? Yes. I agree. Thanks. What's your thoughts? How you, what's your thoughts on her? <clears throat> My thoughts, um, I like it. You know, it's, it's a nice idea. It's just, I, I remember back when I had a moment where when she was Chief's wife, I had actually, we had been in the studio together and we were working on some music and it was, it was actually, the energy was flowing very well. Um, but that was the problem, you see. Um, that was Chief's wife at the time and um, I kind of overstepped some boundaries there by continuing to do that. And later on when I was getting reprimanded for it and you know, looking at myself, um, you know, I had admitted, I was able to see in myself that, yeah, I was feeling raw. I was feeling raw a lot. And, um, hold on real quick. That time. Mm -hmm. Hold on real quick. Um, if Mr. Marquez wants to come live, he can come live. He's not, he hasn't sent me a request. Can y'all keep, can y'all not say that? Because he's not in my requests. So if he want to come live, he can always come live. Um, so that'll be that. You could tell him to come on live and I will add him. And we will deal with that as that, that, that shoots out. But as for now, I don't see him in the room. 
And so, therefore, stop saying that before I block you. He's blocked. Where my other phone at, y'all? What's his name? What's his name so I can unblock him? Where my other phone at? Go ahead, go ahead, have your two people. Double time. Oh, he's blocked in his page, in this page? Oh, I, okay, I unblock him and he can come on in as long as he's respectful. Man to man, we could talk. I don't, I don't, I don't mind. He want to talk to Eliana, he could talk to her. You should, listen. Okay, well, we're going to unblock him right now. Y'all let him know we're about to unblock him, that he can come in and Eliana will talk to him. Yeah, 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 go do your thing, do your thing. You got to keep everything running while we're while we going. You said his name is I. Eliana would definitely love to talk to him and constructively talk to him. What's the name again? Uh, I underscore N underscore as long as he want to be a mature, a what? Underscore Marquez. Uh, it's I underscore a N underscore. I underscore N underscore. Underscore A. a underscore. Underscore. Mar Marquez. M A R. Marquez. Q U E Z. Q U E Z. Okay, I'm not. I think it's an L. It's L. Is it an L? Yeah, in the very beginning. Okay. All right, I got him. Y'all see right here? It's the page right here. As you can see right here, it was blocked because of disrespect. Y'all see me? I'm unblocking him. He could come in as long as he's respectful. He's live right now. He could come in the room. Y'all tell him that we live. He can come in the room. I just want y'all to see that we unblocked him. Um, yeah, she can talk to him right here live. I mean, I, I, I ain't got nothing to hide. She, I didn't block you. She blocked you. I didn't block you. I'm watching this live. Here you go, right here. I. This is what this is what he talking about. I didn't block you. She blocked you. Here we go. All right, so now you ain't even gonna watch the conversation. So you talking shit. You not even gonna be in it. Look. Look. I didn't. I didn't block you. Come here, Eliana, real quick. I didn't block you, bro. So he talking through these phones, and y'all see me. I'm a stand up guy, bro. I'll tell you right now, I don't have to block you, brother. Oh, he want to be childish. That's why she don't want to talk to you, because you is child. You just childish, bro. Bro, I don't. I, Eliana, can you come here, please? Did I block this man? I, I don't block people, bro. I, what would I block him for? Did I block you from him? No, you didn't. I blocked him myself. I blocked you. He, she blocked you, bro. She didn't. He not. He this man looking for clout, man. He don't care about Eliana. I, I don't like people like him, man. Man, I hate people like that, man. This is the reason why she got the issue she got right now. I'm dealing with because of this dude. And here we are. Here's his opportunity to come in the room and talk to his daughter. I swear if my daughter was on live, I'm talking to her. I'm not going online just talking shit. I unblocked you, dude. Come in the room. This shit crazy, bro. He clout chasing when his daughter going through something right now. She needs you. And all he, all he doing is showing y'all right now his true colors.
You telling him, you telling her to go home to what? They said go home. How, what, how do you answer that? I'm, if if I go back to Babylon, what you call home, you call Babylon home, which that's not my home. That's why I left in the first place. This is my home. This is where I want to be. This is where I reside. They ask, can you speak and to him you, privately? Do I, I stop y'all from talking to y'all no, folks? No, you don't. I, I don't got time to be thinking about what y'all doing. I spoke to him before, and it don't go fuck? anywhere, and I don't desire to talk These to him. These folks Neither crazy. I talk to him in Babylon, so why would I? He unblocked. He unblocked. Y'all go tell him that he unblocked. He is really, he is really sitting online looking for attention off of his daughter's pain. She going through shit right now. And you going to feed off of her clout. He see his room going up live. Instead of him coming here, sitting like a man and talking to his daughter. Or do I stop you from him calling you? I, I couldn't do that. I would never want nobody to stop. He don't call and he don't reach out Bruh. anyway. He only started reaching out. Matter of fact, he started going through stuff. matter of fact, his wife reached out to me on Facebook. Get the baby, baby. His wife reached out to me on Facebook. Man, let me see if I can pull this message up because I'm blocked on Facebook. There it is. Ain't this funny? Her name, Annette. Her name, Annette. She reached out to me. Here we go. Look, y'all. January 17th, I missed a call from Annette. Now, my, my inbox jam-packed. I opened up this message. Look what I did. Look what I said. I said, hey, I missed your call. How are you? I am here for you. If you wish to call me back, or you can contact me on my WhatsApp at 404. This is back in January 20th. I sent my WhatsApp number to his wife who had called. And that's him right there. Go. This is just in case she blocked them that they had an avenue to call through. I gave him my WhatsApp. And she threw a thumb up. She threw the thumb up on in February 8th. This is his wife, Annette Marquez. I missed a call from her, and this is what I sent her back. I said, hey, I missed your call. How are you? I am here if you wish to call me back, or you can contact me on my WhatsApp. And there's my WhatsApp number right there. February 8th. She throws a thumb up so he can contact his daughter because he has access to her. Point blank period. So don't take the job turkey and you speak up for yourself, man. Yeah, I blocked him. Wait. I've been blocked. You, you speak up for yourself, man. I blocked him. They're trying to make me look like I'm stopping you from talking to your father when I got a daughter. I got children. That their mother is stopping me from talking to them. I'm trying to contact my children in Babylon, and their mothers won't let me talk to them. I got three sons. I got two sons I can't talk to because their mother won't let me talk to them. Because of these people stalking, stalking my baby mothers. They trying to protect my son, they scared to contact with my son because of young Pharaoh and his goonies keep threatening their life and the baby life. So two of my baby moms won't even let me talk to Osiris. I can't talk to Osiris. I've been reaching out to him. Can't talk to my little man. And I can't talk to Buddha, who I've only seen on the video. And because they sent... Stuff saying I got HIV to her, she backed away and won't even let me talk to my own little man. So why would I ever keep a father away from his daughter? I would never do that because I know how it feels in this moment right now. I cannot speak to two of my babies. I would never do that to nobody. So he lying to y'all. Young Pharaoh has harassed my baby moms to the point where she don't want to be on social media. And she's scared to talk to me because she don't know if she's being recorded or they're going to come attack. She, she paranoid. 
Pocahontas paranoid. She won't even let me see my little man. I can't even get videos and see him grow up. I can't because of young Pharaoh. But that's cool. The universe has it set that way. Fine. But let me tell you something. I would never. It's times that I go into modes where I, I cry thinking about my babies. And how I can't talk to them. And hear their little voice. Saying, Daddy, that shit touched me. I would never keep Eliana from her father. Man, that ain't even moral. That ain't even right. I sent this man my WhatsApp number. He ain't hit me since. Now, if she blocked him on her own because she having her own relationship with him, don't try to make it seem like it's me, I kid. This is why I put this shit on live. I had him unblocked, but then he started doing stupid stuff, so I don't talk to him. What kind of stupid Period. stuff was he doing? Well, at first, at first, I, um, at first, I think he, this was way back in Costa Rica, he reached out to me like twice, or I think I reached out to him, either, either one, I think I reached out to him, just because I was wanting to know how they was doing. He never really reached out to me on this whole journey, like really, truly to under, like see what it was. I, I mean, I told him I left and stuff, but he never really cared about what I did in my life, even when I was in Babylon. So I was just always out and about. Actually, I used to go visit his home. Like I used to, his daughter used to visit his home and, you know, sleep over there and then leave and then go do my own thing. So it was never like he cared about what I was doing anyway. And even when I was in Costa Rica, we had conversations over like Facebook, but it was only like. Well, hold on, they keep saying he want to talk to you and not me. I don't. He don't. He don't need to talk to me for what? I mean, this whole. No, time they trying to say that out that I'm making it so you can't talk to him by yourself, nigga. I had. You I got had, me fucked. Let me tell y'all something about me. Oh, hold up. Y'all got me fucked up, and y'all demons is trying to get a reaction out of me. I get it. You got me fucked up, nigga. I don't control this woman like I, I, I have an influence and my own influence is only positive upon her. I would never, ever sit there and not let her talk to her father in privacy. You could talk, each one of y'all told who the fuck y'all want to talk to. I ain't tell y'all to come here. Don't try to make it seem like no dumb shit. Let me put it out there right now. You said request him. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. You see what I'm saying? Demonic forces. You see them all in the room, man. You see me being attacked. You see me being attacked. Because I'm a light. They want to suck off my light. That's all it is. That's all it is. You see what the fuck going on right here. You see it. 